are Initiative Zero. I'm Magnum Pi. I'm here with Dark Templar, Vahilo, Teku, and Golgotha. And we're going to play some Second City Chronicle, um, Chapter 2 of the story of Mice and Men. Um, this is our new actual play. If you like what you hear, hit subscribe. Uh, hit that bell if you want to be notified about when our next episode is going to come out. We do it every week, pretty much. Um, and yeah, um, again, these are going to be followed up with um, some GM tips, uh, kind of a behind the screen, so that if you're looking to learn how to play something other than Dungeons & Dragons, um, this is a really cool game. And um, I'm going to kind of give some of my own thoughts on decisions I've made between games on how I'm going to do things um, and resolve problems and where I've messed up and what I've learned and things like that. So uh, if you like that sort of thing, there'll be another video uh, to accompany this probably midweek. Um, but yeah, uh, here we are. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to start off with, uh, with catching up on, uh, on some uh, stuff I missed last time. Uh, last time, Christopher Sloan encountered a, uh, a spooky thing in, a, in an air duct, and uh, that should have triggered him on a, as a breaking point, and we didn't do it. So we're gonna catch, we're gonna um, start there, and um, yeah, it's uh, you'll notice in the bottom corner you should be able to see the players down there. They have some tokens over them. I use little coins uh, to represent beats. And when they collect five of those, they get an experience. But I've also got some green emerald kind of gems there. Um, those are their willpower. And what they're going to do is, rather than just checking a box off on the sheet, they're going to drag them out and spend them as tokens. And what that does is that kind of just kind of gives a weight to this valuable asset uh, called willpower and is going to um, kind of just create a different feel for the game. So um, I've done it before with other things. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's been recommended in Vampire the Requiem to do with uh, Litai, uh, their blood points, basically, uh, to make them seem all the more precious. And it's pretty cool to do with uh, mortals and their willpower, which is super useful. Um, yeah, so before we jump in for the break points, just want the um, players to note that the environmental tilts, um, I got rid of the blizzard tilt. It's not in effect anymore. The blizzard's done. Uh, I checked the actual weather report from December 10th, 2005. They got like a foot of snow. So 30 centimeters of snow, and uh, so there's lots of snow. So it'll be slippery, and it'll still be below, um, yeah, it'll still be below freezing, so the extreme cold tilt is still in play as well. But that's kind of where we are. And let's do Christopher Sloan and his breaking point. So I'm going to just uh, show this breaking points. Um, I just kind of copied and pasted the rules into a handout for the players you guys should be able to see that there and the character witnesses something traumatic terrifying or that rattles his understanding of the world and if i recall correctly there teku you kind of said wow this is bizarre am i wrong see that's what i get for talking really well you know it's true it's true <laughs> but uh that's what i get yeah but it was rather rather um, it did kind of rattle your character's yeah. understanding of things. in fairness. So it triggers a breaking point. So uh, what that means is you're going to end up rolling your resolve plus your composure. And um, because your integrity is currently at 7, everybody starts at 7, you'll get a plus 1 bonus to that. But now we look at the circumstances surrounding the breaking point, I don't think your virtue or your vice were in play when you were investigating that um, air duct. No, they weren't okay. really in the scene in that yeah. moment. Okay, so um, we'll go down. You basically witnessed a supernatural occurrence, um, but it wasn't. A, it was more of a, huh? That's weird. So I'm going to give that a, a negative one modifier. So it's going to cancel out your plus one. So you're just going to do a straight resolve plus composure roll. All right, resolve composure, normal sheet zero. Great success. I should jump back here. One success, so you're, you succeed. So you've come through the breaking point intact, so you're not going to lose any of your integrity, although you might feel guilty or upset if it was something of a moral quandary, um, but it's not. It was something spooky. So you, I'm going to give you the, um, the spooked um, condition. 
Okay, and conditions aren't a penalty. Remember that. Conditions oh, yeah. no, make no. things interesting. So I'm going to drag the that scene. out there. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to... More reading to do. So when I give you guys these conditions, I'm going to set them up like that behind your player token, or sorry, your character token, rather. The character tokens are on the screen. Um, and uh, that's player tokens are on the bottom. I've had them put the same icon, so a uh, few guys uh, following along, um, you'll be able to tell which player is which uh, character. And so, yeah, so Christopher Sloan has the spooked condition. And we're just going to go through it this first time just to show people. So if you click on that, you guys should uh, be able to hit Z if you click on the spook condition, and it will zoom in super big, <coughs> so that everybody, is, so that you'll be able to see it. I'm going to zoom in on my end so everybody else can see it. And this is what the spook condition does, right? You've seen something supernatural, not really enough to terrify you, but something otherworldly, and how you're going to respond to it is up to you. But it's it's going to captivate you, and it's going to eat away at your attention. So you can shed this condition when your character's fear and fascination causes him, in this case, to do something that hinders uh, the group or complicates things. Okay, so just simply pursuing it is not, um, not going to resolve this condition. It's when the pursuit of it, um, or, your, or your fear of it, your av aversion to it, um, hinders things, right? Complicates things. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so that's when you resolve it. If you resolve the condition, you get a beat. And so really engaging in these um, these conditions uh, actually is how you get experience in this game. You collect five beats, you get an experience. So that's what we got there. Cool. Cool. All right. <clears throat> and yeah, so um, we're just going to go through now to, we'll start with DT. Uh, just tell us what your aspirations are for this uh, for this particular chapter. At the end of every chapter, you set new aspirations for the next chapter. Your long term usually stays the same unless it's actually become resolved. But um, uh, we're just going to refresh our memories here. So, DT, what's Elliot's ambitions? All right. So one short term, so one short term that I have is uh, Elliot would like would take Karen to somewhere safe. Short term, get Karen to tell me more about details of what happened to her. I guess. And the long term is Elliot Devrim develops a friendship. Cool. Awesome. How about Vinny? What are his aspirations? Uh, so I still want to uh, try and pressure and intimidate the, the people that my uh, truck driver was. Uh, I want to pressure them into settling. Uh, I don't want them to go to the police. I don't want them to go to insurance, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I think in order to do that, another short term aspiration is to investigate the accident scene where it happened. Um, and then long term, uh, still kind of working on developing a political ally uh, in the city of Chicago. So if we get to the point where offices open up and things like that on the Monday, because I think December 10th was a Saturday. Yeah, um, I should be able to uh, make more progress towards that. Yeah. And we're not going to go hour by hour. Basically, we're going to kind of just jump back to the library where we left off with Christopher Sloan and Grayson Bridger and resolve that and then kind of fast forward the time frame a little bit. Um, so, all right. Um, and then what's uh, Christopher's uh, aspirations? So he's looking at uh, determining the motivations of Professor Bridger regarding the book that he was trying to check out at the point where, you know, all hell broke loose. Yeah. As well as investigating the vents. Uh, his long-term goal hasn't really changed. He's still looking to become published in some capacity, a local newspaper or something along those lines. Cool. All right. And how about Grayson Bridger? Uh, I would like to find out information. So find in, uh, information about the origins and nature of the book that uh, has disappeared. Um, another short-term goal is to learn about what actually happened to the book. For example, uh, where, why it's missing, who took it, or something, at least something related to uh, the what has happened to it. Uh, and long-term is still make university staff connections. All right. Sounds good. Cool. So we will jump in to that. Grayson, you were in the uh, kind of the reading room there, waiting for the book to be delivered to you. And um, 
the the custodian, um, the one with the lazy eye and uh, yeah, kind of acrid smell, um, kind of stepped in and, and leaned in close to you and, and said, you need a book? I can get a book. Uh, well, I'm, I'm looking for a very specific book, uh, and I think that uh, the uh, the librarian, uh, I think his name is Curtis, Curtis, uh, Christopher, no, Christopher, sorry, Christopher, I think he's gone to uh, to get it for me. What book? Uh, it is, uh, well, it's, uh, I don't even know the title of it, but it's it's this particular uh, serial number, or not serial number, but uh, uh, library number. So I'll show it to him. Okay. I have no reason to be suspicious at this point. He kind of leans in and looks at it. Again, the one eye still looking at you as he looks at what you're showing him. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. He says, uh, that one's gone. S excuse me? What do, you, what, what do you mean it's gone? It's already been taken. What, what what do you mean how what, what who by whom it shouldn't have been it should be it's it needs to be raining here somebody needed it somebody needed I, I don't understand what what are you talking about okay at this point Christopher you um, are you still investigating the book or are you are you, are, are you on your way back uh I would have been on my way back just to inform uh, Professor Bridger that there was a disruption and then I was going to basically beeline it for the vent. Okay. So you come back then to inform him. And, so I've uh, kind of I've kind of stood up by at this point, by the way. So just sure. out of incredulous, like, what? what are you talking about? Yeah. When you do that, he backs off. Like he, backs, yeah. he looks a little kind of timid in that sense. Um, again, his hands kind of are always shaking. He's he's probably got some, you know, too much chemicals without gloves sort of thing. And uh, yeah, uh, you see Stephen in there talking to Grace and Chris. And I'll look at uh, Professor Bridger because we're not on a first name basis yet say uh yeah i'm sorry there's been a bit of an issue yes uh, this this gentleman has said that somebody has taken it really uh yes. well that's funny steven i was gonna actually i've been looking for you for a while i, I had some questions um, i've got many questions at this point what's going on well, How let's, this let's taken? just hang on this is with with the due respect this is a, a library matter so if you could just i i, I understand that but with also, due respect, this I know this book is not supposed to leave the library. It, the because the the, uh, the, the uh, curator of the museum has it here okay, specifically. So, so discussing whether or not it should leave will not stop it leaving. Stephen, what's going on? Somebody must have taken the book. Must have or did? Well, okay, did. Did you know this was happening? Do you know who took it? Well, no. Then we, how do you know it's gone? It's, I don't. I don't mean to interrupt. That, I don't mean to interrupt her up. But the the gentleman here said that somebody needed it. And I will look back to Stephen with eyebrows getting further and further up my. Uh, the picture of my character is cropped enough that I don't know if I have a forehead or a five head. I'm going to assume forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kind of looks at you. Books don't walk. People take them. And I will work to not outwardly obviously sigh and turn and start heading toward the vent because this is becoming a fruitless venture. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to follow him at this point. Excuse me. All right. Yeah. And Steven steps back out of the yeah. way. Yeah. Excuse me. I, I, I don't know what is going on here, but I do know that this book is important. The, uh, this is a book that apparently 
uh, uh, Mr. Quan, uh, his name's Quan, right? I, okay, I, 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 I Quay. Quay, Quay yeah. has been looking for, and it's, it might be instrumental in his disappearance. And my, my ears are going to perk up at the discussion of Mr. Quay and be like, so, I'm sorry, you're here on behalf of Mr. Quay. No, yes, no, not really. Uh, it's a long story. Uh, well, it's not even that long a story. I, I, the police asked me about this particular book. Uh, I'm. I, I, it's not even my specialty. I'm, I'm, I'm more into near Eastern history and religion. Uh, but they asked me specifically about this book. They couldn't give me information. Uh, but I talked to the custodian, uh, uh, the uh, curator of the museum, uh, and she explained to me that his father was looking for this book specifically. Uh, I decided to do a bit of research to find out what is about. Uh, apparently, it was it's untranslated. Uh, people don't understand what's going, what what is about. Um, but so, I guess it's, it's it's a bit of curiosity on my part to see what the big deal is. Why would he be interested in this book? Okay, so I'm sorry, and I'm still walking the entire time at an yeah. uncomfortable speed, given yeah. the library probably yeah. being shushed as we go. Um, so you have been asked to come here. By Mr. Quay Sr. No, I have not been asked to come by anybody. I was talking to uh, the young man, the, the, the man's, uh, son, well, do you know his son's name? So Mr. Quay Jr. I, I wasn't asked about him either. I, I actually, I was talking to his fiance. She and I are friends. And like I said, I was asked about this book by the police. I don't know anything about this book. I'm curious to see why they were looking for this book. I, I have no other motive. So, the, you, and I'm just going to kind of sputter as I go along because I, my brain is entirely somewhere else. Um, at this point, there's a massive and potentially far-reaching security breach for a number of priceless artifacts. Yes, and, I and did works that. of works of art. Uh, yeah, I think the best course of action here. I I think I know how this was done. I'm going to go directly there. I need you to call the police. Um, sure. I'll take my cell phone out as I'm walking. And he's not going to pick up on the fact that I'm trying to lose him. Not a chance. Nope. Great. Um, so again, I, I, making, making a mental note on the various ties between police involvement, the Quay family involvement, the Quay family attachment to, uh, Professor Bridger, um, I might actually, as we're walking, try and tease out, well, how do you know his fiance? We were colleagues in university, uh, in graduate school uh, at uh, uh, Stanford. Um, she kind of got me the job here in some ways. Uh, I haven't been, uh, it's been a few months since I've been at the university here. Um, but we've been friends for years. Okay. Um, sorry, as we're walking here, Magnum, I don't see any other library staff or officials, do I? Well, there's, you're not the only person in the library um, on duty, right? You're just yeah. manning the front desk. There are other people. No, but at, at this point, I'm beelining it between two points. So if you're, if you're, are you trying to connect with somebody or are you trying to avoid people? If, if I see someone, I would probably try and get their attention. Okay, so you're you're looking to find somebody. Okay, then yeah, yeah you, you you'd find somebody then. You you. Okay, at that uh, point, I would it. I would signal them over, while not really breaking pace with Professor Bridger in tow, kind of through physical means because it's a library. You have to be respectful, I guess, and say get campus security here now. Get them to this part of the building. I'm going to be over there, where we we've got a breach in. Um, uh, I don't even know what it would be. Ancient yeah, history sure. department. Yeah, the secured section. Four. Right? Yeah, yeah, the secure yeah. section sure. number number four. We'll go with that. Okay. So after and after he he talks to his colleague, I'm going to try to explain as we're walking, uh, the like what the curator of the museum told me about this book. So I mean, it's it's going to be clear that I'm pretty guileless. I'm I'm not trying to hide anything. Uh, you know, I'm I'm as as dumbfounded as anybody else. And you're saying to this to his colleague. Or no, 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 to, to him specifically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. No, at this point, if you could be, quite honestly, you're the only person here above reproach because if you could steal a work such as this while being in a totally different space under my direct supervision, that would be nothing if not impressive and require you to walk through walls, he said, narrowing his eyes over his shoulder. Walk through walls? What? And then I'm going to go back to continuing to motor in the direction of the person who may or may not have been walking through walls, if it was a person at all. Okay. okay. I'm which I'm continuing to walk is, with them. Which person are you going towards, sorry? Sorry, the, the figure that was that I saw in the vent, the supernatural. Okay, you're trying you're going to the vent. Okay. Yeah, unless unless Professor Bridger is also supernatural, not that I've identified either as such yet. Okay. But it's not above. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Could I um try and do can I try and determine if he's being upfront about everything? Um, I mean, he's he's prattled off a fair amount of information here, and I've been paying attention and filtering through it. So you want to see if but, he's if he's lying to you? Yeah, yeah. Based on body language and the cadence of of this whole exchange. Um, sure. I mean, as far as role play, it's been excellent. Don't get me wrong. It's just as far as you know, oh, my yeah. character would determine. Yeah. So you would do either wits plus empathy or wits plus subterfuge. Um, with a penalty of three. Well, this is the thing. Based on what he's saying, I would assume that he is interested in this subject, in this particular work. So I would go with empathy over subterfuge. Okay. Uh, wits, empathy, composure, you get out of there. And you said minus three? Yeah, that's his composure. So. Okay. Additional success. No, are you lying about anything, Grayson? I am not lying about a thing. There you go. You you don't. Pick I don't up think I'm. A, I don't think I'm lying. I don't think I'm lying about All anything. Right. I'm, I'm no, actually generally doing what I remember. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. So after the after the unless you can walk through walls comment, I'm going to unnarrow my eyes and keep moving because frankly, that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to shake my head and go. Sorry, it was is... a long road to get there, yeah, but we yeah. got there. Okay. All right. Again, this, this I'm just going to shake my head and go. This is so bizarre. Yeah. All right. Like it's. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm coming off like a complete sketch bag. That's yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I'm also going to say that one of the reasons why they they put it here is because there were some books that went missing from the from the uh, the museum. So they put it here for safekeeping. Yeah, well, it it isn't it, safe. Obviously, it, it, it really seems like they 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 missed a couple things in the security checks. Well, I mean, the the, the custodian. He seemed pretty insistent that he, it, I don't know if he knows anything, but he, as soon as I showed him, I said, I don't know the title of this. I just know it from the, uh, the, the catalog number. As soon as he saw it, he goes, oh yeah, that's not here. Okay. I'm, I'm happy to take you at your word, but as far as investigating that, that falls to security, the police, that's, that's not me. I'm just going to try and get out ahead of this thing as best I can. I, I came across something in a vent earlier. That's where we're going now. So it's possible that they're using the ventilation system to move between the secure and unsecure parts of the library. They? Uh, I'm just putting this down as I'm using the general they. It could be one person. It could be multiple people. It is at least one. <sighs> All right. I mean, I guess it's not entirely unusual. I mean, there are often reports about, you know, libraries where people have gone in, taken pages out and sold them on, you know, the black market. So not, I guess this is a surprise. Again, I'm not here to to gauge motivation. I'm just here to try and preserve the integrity of the yeah, library I, at this I, point. I, I, I get that. I just, it just my where, brain is trying to figure out what's going on. Where are we as far as the police? Um. They said that they're on their way. I kind of explained the situation as best I could based on what I know. Yeah. So given my so knowledge you, you did of, call them though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So given my knowledge of um this city having lived here for a decent stretch of time, if not my whole life, I, I don't have high hopes, do I? You won't you're in 
University of Chicago, so you're going to probably get some better response than a few blocks west, which would be the. Well, I think it's meaning. Okay, I think fair. yeah. I thought he was meaning like the, that the that the police will be able to find anything. That's what I was interpreting it as. Oh no no no! I just meant okay. like what like this isn't like half hour. It's free yeah. kind of thing. Is yeah it? yeah. Well, this is this is a, you know this isn't an emergency. Yeah, this is a major it's a, a major it's tax a paying institution. Yeah, it's yeah. a theft. Police are going to come. It's also again the conditions yeah. out there are not great. You know. Oh, that's right. So that can slow them down. So there's there's All probably right. well, going to be least, a bit of a delay. At least we've done our due diligence as far yeah. as appearing not complicit with the whole thing. So that's good. While we're walking, I'm going to call Samantha. Okay, give her a call. Yep. And uh, it rings for a bit before she answers, but she answers. Hello? Hey, Sam, it's Grayson. Um, I'm at the library. Um, I, that book that we were talking about, mm -hmm. I had some time, so I decided to come see it, but it's been, it's gone missing. Oh. Do they know who has it? Uh, no, um, they, they don't know who has it. Uh, they, they, they're, they're, I'm walking the, the, I'm assuming the head librarian, Mr. Mr. Sloan. Oh, hardly. No. Oh, okay. Well, one one of the uh, one of the workers, one of the librarians here, uh, and we're we're going to go investigate it. I guess well, not investigate it, but you know, long story. Uh, do you know anything more about this book? Um, not a lot, no. But I thought <sighs> I thought it was just there was a there was something that uh, that his father was interested in. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, I was talking to the the uh, curator of the museum. He was he was very interested in it. Um, anyways, uh, if, if I don't know, I mean, uh, I'll I'll let you know if I find out any of information. I just want to give Kevin a heads up what's going on. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Are you feeling okay? Uh, just confused. Um, I, this is really strange. Uh, I don't know. It's a strange coincidence. Uh, the curator quite literally has it in the most secure part of the museum, uh, the, uh, the library here because of, of fears that it would go missing because other books went missing at the museum. So we had this conversation and, uh, to actually have this happen. It's, it's uh, I'll admit it's a bit shaky. It's shaken me a bit. Okay. Well, it, um, I didn't mean to add to your load. Oh no, not at all. It's just, I, I, I'm just very curious now. Um, like, books don't get up and walk away on their own. No, no, they don't. They don't. Um, well, all right, thank you for letting me know. Um, let me know if, if they find out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We'll talk to you later, Sam. Okay, bye. Bye. <clears throat> okay, hang up. Yep. So right. hearing him seemingly report to some appendage of the Quay family kind of sticks out. Okay. That's that's sort of an interesting thing. But anyway, we'll we'll get to that later. All right. So you just your character is intrigued. All right. Cool. Yes, exactly. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So there you are. Um do you guys just wait for the police and stuff or Oh God, no. Okay. At this point it's it's too damn interesting and I'm gonna turn to Professor Grayson and say like Again, respectfully, uh, this is a library matter, and I appreciate your help thus far. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Welcome. Helping with you know context, but yeah. at this point, I I need to do a little bit of follow up. Oh, hundred percent. I totally agree. I, I understand the danger involved, and yeah. I I appreciate that you probably don't want any direct part of that. So I will ask you to stay here. Uh, no, I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm I, I don't think both, it's, it's, it's books. Honestly, both it's, for. Uh, you know, safety concerns and for tactical reasons, because if for whatever reason uh, I am found or I, I miss uh, the people involved or responsible, I would rather have a set of eyes here at what I hope or strongly suspect is going to be their, their exit point. Because if I can't stop them, and it's it's highly probable I can't, I, I need to know who took this. The police will need to know who took this. So uh, I need you here to see that. I, 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 and then saying that, I'm just going to go right yes, to the bed. I... Okay. 
and this is a very much a lone wolf scenario, which is not good, but I am entirely too interested in these vents, both as far as a character goes and a player, because quite honestly, like, what the hell? Cool. So there you are at the vent. And so again, I guess he left me behind. Insistently, even. I'm I'm entering the vent. Uh, so Grayson, he he leaves you. Do you follow him, or do you? Well, I mean, my character is kind of a rule follower. Uh, he's he's confused as to what t- tactics. I mean, this is a library. We're not like you know storming the beaches of Normandy. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I'll stay behind. It okay. just it's I'm just very curious as to what's going on and why we just left a, a custodian who seems very very well aware of what happened to the book with no other questions. You can go back to him. I can. Um, I'm just thinking at this point, I mean, is that my place? Well, okay, you think about it. We'll jump, we'll yeah. stay with Christopher here. And you're at the vent. Um, so I'm moving my way along, and as we had previously explored, um, there were no trails in the dust because there was no dust at all, right, in this particular vent. It was clean, yeah. Yeah, as far as, far is, as you could looking in, right? Yeah, yeah, which is suspicious. Um, so, I mean, reflecting on what I had previously seen, it is a bit... It's nerve-wracking, to say the least, but again, this is a potentially priceless piece of human history, as well as also my job and a journalistic interest would be encourage me to push past any figures I had seen wandering around through this vent in the past. Okay. So I'll so just kind of are, grip my teeth, grip my teeth, keep my eyes open and, and push forward as best I can. Well, you're not in the vent. You're just at the vent. That's oh no, I'd be going in the vent. Okay. It is, a, it is reattached. It is securely attached to the wall. The cover. Oh, that's not good. I will attempt to remove it in much the way I did previously. Yeah, you tug and it does not come free. It seems to be... Oh, that's not great. It seems to be now screwed back in place. (sighs) Not good. Um, All right, so I'm going to see if I can pull a set of keys, which I would have on me, Mm -hmm. and use that to unscrew this vent. Yeah, it's... (laughs) You can... You could try, I guess. It's going to be <laughs> yeah. a long shot, right? Yeah, so you're looking at, uh, it would be like larceny or crafts. Um, you don't have the correct tool, so... No. Yeah, so I'd say you're at least at a... Probably at a... I don't know, minus three penalty. Yeah. So we're doing a larceny and what? Uh, well, probably dexterity. Okay, at a minus three. It's just going to be a chance die at this point. Yeah. And I'm not even... But you know what? I would probably try and willpower it. Through yeah, the I was just going to say, we have to remember to declare willpower stuff before I get yeah. the penalty. Yeah, it's just a thing. Sorry about that. No, this is okay. just one of those things yep, that I so would have... Drag a willpower um, gem out and drop her there. Cool. Yeah. So it would be a sum total zero, except for the fact that I don't have one in larceny, right? Um, well, you're at a penalty if you don't have it, right? Yeah. But that's already factored in. Like, it, it does that automatically. So. Oh, okay. Right. But you, so, if you, what's your, so your total, what's your dex? Uh, three. Yeah, so you're at just a so chance. It should, then. Yeah. should. Oh, sorry. Sorry, three. No, it should three spit out a two. Power, and then minus three, we'll use up the willpower. And so, yeah, yeah you just roll your dex um, and larceny, and it will take... Oh, yeah, crafts? Okay. Do you have crafts? Crafts could be used. I for, don't know. Okay. Or crafting or whatever it is. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so just uh, the decks plus larceny, the machine will. Uh, yeah. Take care of it. Yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Sorry that. Oh, that spit was out a chance. A yeah. Chance. Put yeah. On a random so we'll go normal. Standard roll. Yeah. Wow. Look at you. On fire today. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So success. you managed to use your keys to, to 
to and yeah. it, of course it's it's like pretty well mangling the the screws right like it's it's yeah you know because it's not but you it takes some time though right because it's not uh yeah yeah so well you, you know what you to be honest with though. you to be honest with you i'm not that big of a blunt object i would just look at Grayson and say this was loose when I came by earlier. Well, he it is now secured. You, or did he? I've not gone in the vent, so he should be standing more or less right next to me. I thought. Oh, sorry. Okay, so then yeah, I guess I'm right there then. Yeah. My my intent was to leave you at the vent. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. No, anyway, um, he, he starts trying to open up. A... <laughs> yeah, uh, th- and would, I'll would, just look and would, say this was secured when I or this was open when I got here, so they've already moved past us. Would, would you like some help? Uh, I think that's kind of a lost cause at this point, ignoring the fact that I could very obviously open it myself given the tools that I don't have. Um, <laughs> what's the nearest... You know what? What's the nearest exit? Oh, probably the... Oh, gosh, there's probably some emergency exit on the stairwell or something like that within okay. you know, a few... Yeah, a few feet away. Like, uh, the stairwell would be a few feet away or something like that. All right, I'll start... I'll kind of indicate, like, we got to go that way, and I'll start trucking it. Um, Okay, I'm going to follow him then. So you stopped opening it? Yeah, I... I, For now, I'm... Yep. Bigger fish. All right, cool. So you go to the emergency... Or the stairwell? Yep. It's a stairwell. Uh, if there's an emergency exit, has it been tripped? No, it doesn't look like it. No, looks like it's intact. Uh, well, now I'm really confused. Like it might not actually, it might not actually be an alarmed emergency exit. It might just be. Oh, I see. Yeah. But with a foot of, well, hang on with a fire exit, I guess. With a, a door that isn't normally used and a foot of snow outside, I could you would tell if it was oh, opened, yeah. I could tell if it had been opened. Yeah. And it hasn't been opened. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so what is the next standard door? Standard yeah. exit. So you can you, you look around there in the lake. And yeah, it doesn't look like I mean, the the normal exits, um, there's not a lot of traffic, but people have been coming in, particularly people that live on campus and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, that have the have the paper due, you know. Um Mm-hmm. So that those 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 normal entrances and exits would have been used by this point. Are there are there is there a way down or up? Well, you, well yeah, the stairwells. I mean, there's yeah. I'm, ta- I'm, ta- a, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking to. Uh, oh, to, to Sloan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there would be other exits, and I mean, there's not a ton of foot traffic today, but there would be enough that we couldn't make any sort of a distinguish or we couldn't distinguish which direction they've gone okay so what we're going to do is this is a this is you're, you're moving into a, a more complex investigation right yeah you guys are trying to find something and this is where uh vinnie uh sorry uh the hilo and dt can uh can uh can can notice as well if you guys click on the on the image in what i've just shared with you there you'll see there's an investigation system here. And, um, and so you're, you're looking for, um, yeah, you're looking for this book or are you looking for the person that took the book? What are you looking for? Uh, at this point it would probably just be the book. Okay. So, um, in this system, you need to collect a certain number of clues before you can actually, um, solve the, the mystery and clues are basically a piece of equipment that have a rating, just like all of your other equipment. And you can spend those clues to get a bonus from that rating toward anything related to that clue, including finding more clues. Okay. But you have to collect a certain number of clues that have these ratings or elements and spend them to solve the investigation. That's kind of how it goes. Okay. So what you do though is essentially um, because I haven't made up the clues, right? Most people uh, will find what they're looking for if it's there, right? That's kind of how 
Well, that's the that's the assumption under this. So what we do is I have I have an idea of the scope, basically about how many clues you would need to find the book, um, mm-hmm. and uh, and so basically what I'm going to say is what is it that you guys are looking for? Well, I'd say one of the things might be um, because the 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 um, uh, it had dust in there, right? So maybe there's a light footprint with some of the dust that could have been coming from the the the, 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 the vent. Okay, don't get don't get super specific. Just tell okay. me the sort of thing that you're looking for, like evidence that it was like moved through the vent or something like that, right? Like, right? You don't have yeah. to you don't have to get super granular, right? You just have to kind of give me okay. the sort of thing that you're looking for. Like, are you looking for the escape door? Are you looking for, yeah. you know, um, you the direct know, direction of travel? You know, a, yeah, a, a, yeah, yeah. Like the direction of travel, sort of thing. Yeah, direction of travel. Like yeah. whether or not the vents were involved confirming my suspicion um well you tell me which one you're looking for right now and since you guys are working together tell me tell me what it is that you're you guys are together looking to find want to go direction of travel first see i'd rather i'd rather confirm whether or not the vent was involved because that'll give us a better understanding of the direction of travel okay i could do that it's just kind of the midpoint along the chain of events. Okay, so essentially, it sounds like you're looking for how they got it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the sort of thing you're looking for—the way they got it out of the library. All right, cool. So, um, uh, the interval is based on the type of activity, right? So, uh, right now, I'm only going to allow you to ac- accumulate one clue if you're successful. Okay, mm-hmm. um, not not continue searching and searching and searching right at best you're going to to exhaust yourselves at the library and you'll get one clue okay Mm -hmm. so um and here's what we do you tell me what skills and and attributes you're using to find this out what are you what what are you relying on what are you what abilities do you have your natural aptitudes and which skills that you have are you relying on to find this stuff what seems to be in your mind the most effective skill. Now, the kicker is this. If you go back to this skill pool, this attribute and skill pool, again, in this investigation, you get a minus one penalty because you're kind of mm. going back to the well, right? Like, and it's going to mm-hmm. run dry. So, so that's kind of how it works. So what are you using to find this? I'm using intelligence plus investigation. You guys are going to go yeah, whole that's, hog on the investigation? See, I, I I have a pretty solid pool. And I have trained observer as a merit, which might be helpful. Oh, and I've got an eye for the strange. Well, that'll tell you that if something could, supernatural. Right. That could actually be really useful. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe not right now, but you know, when we get to a point where it could be. So what it sorry it, you have trained do we, do we want server right yeah and what are you going to what pool though what skill pool were you thinking well that's it. it it would probably be something along the lines of like a wits and investigation but again do you want to use that this early into this process because you know what I'd rather have a lead than no leads mm-hmm. so that might be. A decent starting point. So, uh, you guys are using wits plus investigation. I'm using intelligence plus investigation. Okay, intelligence is deductive. Wits is yep. ob- observational. So, if somebody's in the lead. I'd imagine it's. It makes sense for Christopher to be in the lead right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what what skill pool do you want to use, Christopher? Uh, at this point, I would probably go wits and investigation, and if trained observer factors into it, I would throw that into the mix. Okay, let's take a look at trained observer real quick. I'm just jumping to your page three. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and anytime you make a perception, you benefit. Oh, so that's not really nine again. Well, no, this is a perception is deep by default wits plus composure, but it can be wits plus a skill if it's relevant. If it's relevant. Oh, skill. okay. Right. I see. Usually you do yeah. whatever's higher. So mm-hmm. you're trying to notice something using the investigation. So it would apply. So you're going to get nine again. Oh, nice. 
That's basically how it goes. So to choose nine again, you just choose it on the, the list there. Yeah. 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 So it's plus investigation. It's going to be nine again. Okay. And let and me figure now, out hold what I want to do. You, you are. So here's how it goes. Um, uh, you guys are working together, right? So mm -hmm. um, uh, Grayson's going to roll again to give you that bonus die. Uh, or any, you know, on his successes. So you're going to mm -hmm. be looking at Wits Plus Investigation as well there, Grayson. Okay. Uh, I, I was going to use Intelligence. Do I have to use Wits? You have to, yeah, you have to roll the same pool as him if you're helping. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So he's the lead, right? That's the thing. He just, he's going to determine the pool. So so here we go. Um, so are you guys going to use any willpower? Well, I guess Grayson, I'm not. Grayson first. Are you going to use any willpower? I don't plan on. Okay, cool. And, well, I guess I need to hear from uh, I need to hear from because I got to determine the bonuses here and tell you something, right? So I need to hear this yeah. from Christopher as well. Are you going to use willpower? Uh, I mean, I got us into the vent with willpower at this point. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> so, um, so wits plus investigation is your pool. Um, all right. So your Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh... Um, <clears throat> vice or virtue here, guys? What do we got going on? Uh, so we'll start with uh, Grayson. What's your vice? Uh, my vice is cynicism. Okay. My virtue is purpose purposefulness. Okay. So I would say that the... Crime actually aligns with your virtue. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, do you guys want to? Are you? Do you feel rushed here that you need to get this done quickly? Um, I don't know about that. Uh, what do you think? Uh, there, to me, there is a bit of a, a a time sensitive component because I do want to try and catch this individual or individuals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for Grayson, we got a. Uh, let's see, minus. Hmm, minus. Minus three um, to your pool. Okay. This this doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, any and no. Okay, so I will roll. Nope, not a thing. Okay. You don't get nine again, though, right? Well, I do because of the... Act. Oh, wait. Uh, no, that's right. I did yeah, the wrong it doesn't matter, though, because you really didn't roll yep. any nines. So it's, it didn't yep. affect the roll. Okay. So you're getting... You're, you're of no use to, to Christopher. Christopher, um, for you, what's your virtue and vice? See, I've got just and ambitious and, frankly both sort it of align it aligns with your you don't know the crime so you don't know uh i know but it does align but with I, your virtue so but i do know that this is kind of an awesome story that would work really well for an aspiring writer or journalist so there is a bit of a self-serving ambitious bent into this whole course of action yeah well at the end of the scene we can determine willpower regain and stuff like okay that. Okay. Um, but for now, I'm just determining a bonus. It does align with your virtue. The crime aligns with your virtue. So that gives you a bit of a bonus. Um, so for you, it would be, um, let's see. Yeah, and you, you're using willpower, you said. So you'll yep. have a plus one. I threw one. that you'll have a to plus my character. One. Okay, so a nine again and a plus one on Fire. wits and investigation. That's correct. Okay, and then the plus one. Two successes. All right, All right. so um, what that gets you is um, you've got yourself a clue, okay? And um, it has one base element, so basically you have a clue with a rank of one. Now, here's the kicker. Um, so is, are you, 
are you specialized in investigation at all? Uh, I thought I was, but let's see. No. Nope. No. And you don't have four or more dots in investigation. Oh, no. So you're not no, no, no. a specialist. Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> you, um, you have one clue. So tell me what you were, uh, now tell me, let's see, we can work together to see what you find here. Okay. To my mind, we would have checked the fire escape and seeing that it was undisturbed, I would have gone back to the most logical point of this pursuit, which was the vent. Mm -hmm. I would have opened the vent and then inspected it to see what I could have found. Both okay. for, you know, creepy legs moving left to right and for actual physical clues. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so you can confirm by just how easy the, um, just how easy the bolt, the, the screws are to take out that this thing was, was removed and you, you so you would, weren't losing your mind on that. Like it had yeah. been resecured. Um, but, um, but what your um, yeah, I suppose the the clue that you find is that um, is that a a person who is able to um, I guess let's put it this way: you wanted to confirm that these were being used, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, like this is a, as a as a point of. Well, potentially, you can't say for sure, I guess. Yeah. But potentially, this is the direction. This was the stepping stone they used to get in and out of the secure part of the library. Yeah. And who better to, to help you with that than security? Because there's, you know, cameras and such. Mm hmm And so, um, so your investigation takes you there. What you find is you see that Stephen... Um, basically re like he comes across and sees this loose the footage shows him seeing this loose kind of vent cover so he he reattaches it and um um rewinding though you find you find no footage recently of anybody coming in and out of there you see yourself discovering it and such but you find no footage of anybody going in and out of there in the last few days at all Really? Yeah. Bamboozled again. Um, yeah, what you find, though, because you succeeded and you have a clue, is that, um, is that the footage of that camera, the security can't access it before, um, before, you know, last week. And that's something it should normally have access to, I take? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's an inside job. Well, no, not necessarily, but... A clue is a clue, I suppose. Yeah. So, what you do on page three of your character sheet... Mm -hmm. um, both you and Grayson can write this down because you did this together. You'll have a, a box I put there called Clues. Right? And you can say, you know, um, theft at the, you know, vents used at the library, right, to steal a book. And you have, just put like a one in brackets. You have a, you have one, that's the number of elements this clue has. Okay. Right. So we're taking this as confirmation that the vents were used, right. but not in a way that we can pursue further directly You're, by looking at the footage. All of your suspicions are that the vent, somebody's been in the vent, mm -hmm. but, and whoever it is, the footage is gone, right? Interesting. Okay. So you can use that clue for anything that it's applicable to, and you'll get a plus one bonus, but yeah. you do have to find a certain number of clues and a certain number of elements. I do have another idea, an avenue we can we can go, but okay. I would like to confer with the 
professor before we do that because okay. he may have something else. All right. But well, that's all you can find right now. What we're going to do, the police came. They, uh, you know, they investigated, they interviewed, um, they looked at the other vent in there and noticed that, you know, they, and they have confirmed that, you know, yeah, somebody was, was moving through here. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, yeah, um, that's probably how they got in and out. They deleted the footage, you know, they, you know, the, they're, yeah. they're pretty convinced that somebody broke in or had help from the inside or something like that to steal this. Um, they start looking for fingerprints and things like that and they start to do their investigation and that will take up some time. Um, <clears throat> and you guys pretty well, uh, spend the rest of the day pursuing what you will. Um, and, and the sort, the rest of the weekend, it's cold, it's snowy. Um, Elliot and Vinny need some time. So, Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And so, uh, what we will do is, um, in our next, uh, next episode, we'll continue chapter two here. Um, so this chapter is going to span two episodes and, um, uh, we will let, um, Elliot and Vinny have some of the, uh, some of the time there. So, um, so thanks for, uh, for listening through this first half of, of chapter two. Um, we will, uh, we will be back, um, in another uh, subsequent um, episode to do chapter two, part two, and um, that will focus more on Elliot and Vinny. So if you like what you heard, guys, please uh, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified about when part two of chapter two comes out, and uh, put any comments you have down below. You can always join us on our Discord. So until next time, guys, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you then. All right, bye. Good night, everybody. Night.